I'm exhausted. Elbow grease seems to be the only way of getting a lot of places clean. And even then you don't get all the dirt off. You need a good old mop and bucket. Get on your hands and knees and scrub. It's all right in the larger areas. You can use the scrubber dryers, but not in the congested areas. The little nooks and crannies that are really hard to get to. I mean, look at this. Unless you get down on all fours and do it with your hands, it's not going to get done. And that's not really good enough. Cleaning is my business, but with all the other jobs I've got to get done, this isn't going to be one of my top priorities. Just think of all the other places like this, where dirt builds up. It looks awful, and it breeds germs. Well, for all my moaning, there is a solution. The Duplex Jetvac 2000. Well, here it is. I know it's not very large, but it's really good. Have a look at this. It's a cross between a steam cleaner and a vacuum. It fires out high-pressure steam, which removes just about anything. And there's a vacuum, which sucks up all the dirt once you've loosened it. So, there's no debris or water to sweep up once you've lifted the dirt. You can use it as a wet vacuum for liquid spillages without the steam turned on. Or with the steam on its own, like a steam cleaner. And, compared to cleaning with a mop and bucket, it dries and sanitises as you go, rather than spreading the dirt and germs, which provides much higher hygiene standards. If you take this piece of glass, look at the muck on it, the steam should do all the work. And because of the temperature and the velocity, you don't need to apply any pressure just a small amount of agitation. And look what happens. Now, if we're going to clean this floor over here, the first thing I need to do is switch this off and then change the nozzles. Switch it back on. And off we go again. And because it's steam, it's sanitising, without the use of chemicals, which is cheaper and it's safer. And another thing, if you use it correctly, it's really safe. It's very hot at the nozzle, about 130 degrees centigrade, but five centimetres away, and it's really cool. Still, it's best to wear gloves anyway. So. Let's have a look at the machine itself. It comprises of a boiler, which produces the steam to clean, and a vacuum, which retrieves the dirt. Then there are these two hoses. This one for steam and vac, and this for steam on its own. Then we have the extensions. So, what have we got? A scraper, a brush, a plunger, some more brushes, a squeegee, and a small nozzle. These are what makes it so versatile. It's not meant to replace the big floor cleaners. This is designed for the parts the other cleaners can't reach. I'm sure you'll find your own routine for using it. There is no set way to use any of these attachments. Really, it's down to you to work out what's best for your cleaning routine. So, steam and vac, the one with the larger hose. It's great for cleaning floors when you don't want to use the larger cleaners. Let's look at this dried, spilt milk down here. Now, with a mop and bucket, it would take you ages but with the jet back, with a jet back, this is no problem. You can even use it in the freezer. Now, let me show you what else you can do with a combined steam and vac. Out in the lobby, where customers drag in a lot of dirt. You can use it for spot cleaning carpet stains. Non-slip safety flooring is notoriously difficult to clean with a mop and bucket. 
Put the jet back, it easily removes all the dirt. Now, let's have a look at some of the steam attachments. This steam attachment is used with the smaller hose, and it's particularly effective for grounding dirt in the hard to get to areas, such as this corner down here. You can get behind the bars or other obstacles that normally make cleaning difficult. And if the dirt is a bit more stubborn, the triangular brush will help to lift it. The jet back is ideal for any catering environment, for cleaning the hob or other appliances. The toilet floors don't present any problem at all. And because it sanitises, we don't need to use any chemicals. There's also a sink plunger, which can be used to blow through and sanitise waste trap. In an environment like this, it's extremely important to give a good clean and to sanitise at the same time. The jet pack easily removes all body fat and dirt leaving the equipment clean and safe from germs. And there's a steam-only squeegee, which is a great way of cleaning glass. Here's a very useful tool, the scraper, which will remove stickers, labels and chewing gum. The thing to remember is not to apply too much pressure. I'll be honest, when I first saw it, I didn't appreciate its potential. And who'd have thought you could clean without chemicals? Well, I'll tell you, I couldn't do without it now. See for yourself, you'll be amazed at the things you can use it for. <laughs>